we can't actually feel wetness, we can only infer it. No hygroreceptors, we use a combination of temperature and texture. That's why if you touch hanging laundry on a cold day, it's very hard to determine if it's wet or just cold. Moisture is the essence of wetness, and wetness is the essence of beauty. I swear to God, a kid asked a question like this, how does the brain feel wetness, in freshman science class, after the teacher literally dared us to ask him anything to try and stump him, and the teacher totally shamed him for asking a stupid question, because you just feel it. Teachers who do that always think they're hot shit. In this case, a wet blanket, you just feel it. This is false. I hate this stupid viral piece of misinformation. I blame Hank Green. I love you Hank, but you were wrong here, and now tons of little internet minions are misinformed all parroting the same nonsense. Your body can detect wetness in two ways. The mammalian dive feeflex. When water touches areas of your face, your heart rate slows, your blood pressure drops, and your breathing slows. This is to help us not drown to death in a puddle. You know how your fingers prune up in the water. That's not due to them being waterlogged like everyone seems to think. It doesn't happen in paraplegic feet, and this tells us that it's a nervous response. We believe it's to increase surface area on wet skin to increase grip. Your body can absolutely detect wetness. This madness needs to nip in the buds. Also to add to your thought we can't feel temperature. Only temperature change. Love it, how crazy are we? We really do only interpret the world through an abstract lens. Wonder what the experience is for creatures that actually have the right tools to measure it. True. Like animals that can feel the magnetic poles. Just incomprehensible for us. Bullshit. My mum knows if it's damp or just cold every damn time. It's one of her superpowers. Nah it's part of getting old with experience. Obviously something lying out for a long period of time isn't going to be wet even though it feels wet. Also just looking at it helps. Wet cloth moves differently than dry cloth. Or maybe I have superpowers as well. If you've ever touched running water with nitrile gloves on, you'll know it's trippy, your brain says your hand should be wet but it's completely dry, solely because the temperature change and texture is there. I hate the feeling of cold water on my hands so I use dish gloves when washing dishes. We didn't have any one time and I used nitrile gloves instead, they were useless. So that's why my auntie thought she peed her pants when she first experienced seat warmers in my dad's car. I once spilled cold water on myself in the car without noticing, and I thought the nerves in my legs were just freaking out and tingling a little bit, because of the temperature, was very strange. I never understood this. Who are you to determine which level of feeling this belongs to? In my book, if you're determining the texture and temperature, you're very much feeling it. Yeah this is getting philosophical. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe for more videos.